So looking at your bank accounts and checking them, it may be that some cash was handed over for a previous concert. But Andy, the simple answer is, for reasons which you may have a valid point about, you did not pay Callum the £150 he's claiming in cash for these two cancelled concerts, correct? I did, you judge. And you're angry about other things. But there's no way that that cash came out and was handed to him in respect of the cancelled concerts on the 24th and the 26th. This is your last chance to admit it. Don't embarrass yourself, sir. I'm not embarrassing myself. Your last chance to admit it. Did you give him that £150, yes or no? Well, no, you judge, but he's basically... Thank you. He's Stop a... there. No, judge. Now we're going to find out why. Tell me pork is in my own court. How dare you? How dare you? Now, I understand that you're disgruntled. And you may have valid reasons. There's two other parts of your claim, sir. Yeah. You having generously, by him, been given a home by him and his sister, which I do find to be generous, left some property in his house, correct? I did, yeah. What were they, please? Uh, my blue suede training heels and your blue headphones. suede what my blue suede training heels <clears throat> those are like they're, they're training heels yeah like basically what like, you mean you run in them no um <laughs> so basically like when i do my show uh, like rehearsal these are the shoes i would use instead of the actual show heels did you leave both shoes there or just one no, shoe? just one on an accident they must be very valuable so how much are you claiming for in respect <laughs> of the um, blue suede two pound fifty <laughs> What? £2.50. I see you bought the training shoe today. Are you prepared to give it back to him? Yes, sir, I have to because he said I pinched a shoe. No, I never. If I pinched a shoe, what would I do with one shoe? It's <laughs> a very good question. That's exactly <laughs> the question I was asking. I wasn't going anywhere near why somebody would bring a case to court for £2.50. The first question I thought to myself was, goodness me, if I was going to pinch a shoe, what was it you said? He said he pinched a shoe. Yes, and, and your reply was what? I said, I What said, would you do with one shoe? What would I Have do with a limp! <laughs> yeah, I'd be like a Oplon Cassidy. You'd be what? Oplon Cassidy, and plus he wouldn't even fit me. How did you end up with one of his shoes? He left it on New Year's Eve. When he went home after the show New Year's Eve, when he went on New Year's Day, he left it by with his headphones as well. Are you prepared to give the shoe back? Yes. Michelle, would you mind coming to get it for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Could you please hand that back to Callum? Thank you. You're welcome. Why have you kept that one shoe? I said to him that I would send it back um, if you give my address, and he put in my messenger as I got it. Yes, Judge. Let's see. Let's have a look. Oh, gosh. What is it? I don't want the. I have Getting others. Yeah, because I was really annoyed at this point. You were? Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge end of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.